Hello students. The next problem is if the centroid of the triangle is 4 comma 6 and two of its vertices are 7 comma 1 and minus 4 comma 10. Find the third vertex. Now here in this problem they have given us the centroid of a triangle to be 4 comma 6. Already we have seen the formula for centroid of a triangle in our previous video. So what was that? The centroid of the triangle with vertices x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 is given to be x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3, y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3. So this is the formula for to find the centroid of a triangle. So now here they have given the centroid to us that is they have given it to be 4 comma 6. So they have given us the centroid is equal to 4 comma 6 which means that x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3 comma y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3 is equal to 4 comma 6. This is given to us. So from this what do we understand? x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 is equal to 4 and y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3 is equal to 6. Okay, so let us write that now. So from this we get x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3 is equal to 4 and let us mark this as equation 1 and also y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3 is equal to 6 and let us mark this as equation 2 okay now what is the question here the question says that they have given us two of the vertices of the triangle so if we have a triangle they have given us two of its vertices and they are asking us to find the third vertex so we have to find the third vertex of this triangle for example, if this is 7, 1 and this is negative 4, 10, we have to find the third vertex. So, if, because it is unknown, we can take it as x3, y3. Because uh, this vertex, we can take it as x1, y1. This is x2, y2. And so, x3, y3, we can take it as the third vertex. And we have to find the value of x3. And so, let us write that here. We have already we have the vertices 7, 1 minus 4, 10. And we have taken this to be x1, y1. This is x2, y2. And the third vertex is unknown which is, which is what we have to find. So we can take it as x3, y3. So now what we shall do? We shall substitute in equation 1 the values of x1, x2 and let us evaluate the value of x3. So we have to substitute x1 as 7 and x2 as minus 4 in equation 1. So let us do that now. So in equation 1, x1 is 7 plus x2. So x2 is minus 4. So minus 4 plus x3 divided by 3 is equal to 4. Now we can cross multiply this here. So if we cross multiply we get uh, and 7 minus 4 is what? 3. So 3 plus x3 is equal to 3 multiplied with 4. So 4 3 times is 12. So the value of x3 will be so x3 will be equal to 12 taking this to the other side it will be 12 minus 3 and so therefore the value of x3 will be equal to 9. Now similar way, in a similar way we have to find the value of y3. So let us do that now. So we know that y1 plus y2 plus y3 divided by 3 is equal to 6. Let us substitute the value of y1 and y2 in these places. So what do we get? y1 is 1 and then plus y2 is 10 plus y3 divided by 3 is equal to 6. So now here 1 plus 10 will be 11. So 11 plus y3 is equal to let us take this 3 here. So it gets multiplied with 6 and 3 multiplied with 6 is 18. So the value of y3 will be equal to 18 minus 11 and so y3 will be equal to 7. So therefore the third vertex is 9 comma 7. So this is the third vertex. Hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.